Well lads, what's the crack? My name is Orgy J Runner and welcome to the Resident Evil 4 Chainsaw Demo. Right, so this was only released yesterday or early this morning, so I've no idea what to expect, but I'm goddamn excited to play the Resident Evil 4 remake. That makes me wonder if they're going to remake the 4, or sorry, if they're going to remake 5 and 6 as well. I shouldn't think so, because they are recent enough entries, but... Judging by the way they're going, they might just completely rebuild them on the RE engine as we do see here. There's no save data. Oh no. And the game is currently in development. Uh, it's not. It's gone gold at this stage. So they're just prepping the launch for it at this stage. So uh, yeah, it's coming out on the 24th of March, and if you're lucky enough to get a review code, you might get it a few days early, or if you're a cheating little scumbag, and you break street date, you can get it god knows how many days early. Yeah, I'm not gonna fucking drop that, there's some cheaters on YouTube, and I freaking hate them. I do like it. It's, it's not fair like the people who've actually worked hard to earn that privilege of getting a review code. Like, it undermines everybody, from like the PR people, from the community managers to other content creators and it's just a pure scummy thing to do like i'm talking about someone in particular but like there's other people who, who do the same thing as well and to be honest they shouldn't be on any pr list they shouldn't be getting any review codes sent to them whatsoever i know i really hate to be negative starting a video but it's just something that i think is well, I won't say despicable, but it's something that's, you know, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's something that's not okay in my opinion. That's the way I'll put it. Oh, the privacy policy. Yes, I consent. I gave you my consent. Yes, consent to everything. Wait, what the bloody hell is this? Oh! Christ! Oh, I, I, yeah, yeah, consent, okay. Oh my god, all that rigmarole. Right, here we are, Resident Evil 4 Chainsaw Demo. Lovely, I'm loving the start screen. Now, will we get the classic Resident Evil? At least then we get that. What? We don't? Come on, Capcom. You had one job. One job. Why get rid of the Resident Evil? September 30th, 1998. It's a day I'll never forget. The cop inside me died that day. And that night, Raccoon City was wiped out. Thanks to the bioweapons created by Umbrella. Somehow I made it out. Too many others weren't so lucky. I was asked later to join a top secret government program. Not that I had a choice. The training, punishing missions, nearly killed me. But at least I kept my mind off everything. If I could just forget what happened that night. The pain. Even for a second. This time, it can be different. It has to. Oh, that was a hell of an intro. Like how they took all the cinematics from Resident Evil 2 and 3 and just blended them so well in. It's been six years since Leon S. Kennedy survived the Raccoon City incident an unprecedented biological catastrophe caused by the Umbrella Corporation. Having distinguished himself as a U.S. Special Agent, he is tasked with locating the President's missing daughter. The search has brought him to an isolated village in Europe, where intel suggests the kidnapped girl was last sighted. Even Leon's past trauma could not prepare him for the nightmare, the insanity he would find here. Chapter 1 Ooh, loving it so far. Oh, we can backtrack. See what's taking so long. Oh, there's no police here. What happened to my two police here friends? Where'd he go? 
Oh, come on. I have no backup. It's just me and not them. Now, well, we're right from the word go, it is a completely different game altogether. It's definitely a lot darker. It's got more scarier tones. And, yeah, a lot more of fluid, you could say. Jeez, I can actually barely see a damn thing. Again, it's this is all going to be down to my monitor because it's new. It's HDR10. I'm not bragging. But I just haven't got used to it yet. Uh, let's see if I can crank up the brightness a small bit. Alright, that's better. I can actually see things now. I know it might be a little too much on the bright side. And it might be meant to be played this way. But you know what? At least I can actually see. I hope it doesn't take too much away from the game. How far can you have gone? Who? Who are we talking about? Wonder if the police went out with you? Oh, God of Almighty, what is that? You. Okay. They're, in some <coughs> They're into some weird, creepy ass demon shit here. And I like it. I like it a lot. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Almost got caught up in that. Ah, yes, the famous house at the very beginning of the game. Now, obviously, this isn't a one to one remake, so the areas are going to be totally different. It's going to be a totally new experience from what I can tell from the trailers and whatnot. And that, that's only a good thing, to be honest, because if it was a one to one remake, even with new models and stuff like that, it I don't think it would go off over well. Not 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 really. Because Resident Evil 4 has been remade at least three times. It was remastered on the night Is PS3 and Xbox 360 are those ninth gen? No, are they eighth gen? Eighth gen consoles, I I think. Either way, they were remade or it was remade on the Xbox 360 and PS3. It was remastered, sorry. And then it was remastered for uh, PS4 and Xbox One. And then there was the PC remaster, which is just basically, or which was basically ported to the PS4 and Xbox One. Okay. That aside, let's get in. Knock, knock. Anyone home? Buenos dias. Anyone home? Maybe. Possibly. Let's just have a wonder about it anyway. Oh, wait, 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 hold on. I want to kick down the store with authority. Or oh, never mind, it'll just open automatically. Woo! Demon symbol! Uh, what does that say? Crude germ. Judgment is nigh. Don't judge me. I don't like being judged. Say a carica el juicio. Hmm. Got to know. I I too like juice. Monster juice. Mm. Peachy. Okay, but let's get serious here gotta find the daughter of the president where is she Ashley you hiding out here oh it's quite oh hey Right, he's speaking in our own police tongues. Yet. You know a key? Dude, I 
don't think he has any interest in you. Oh. Holy shit of almighty. Oh damn, you broke his neck. This is not good. No. Not good at all. Okay, got ten bullets. And right, I should have access to my inventory. Okay, so the inventory system that's completely new, that's completely different. So what I assumed what we have going on here, we have our slot for handguns, we have our slot for maybe machine guns, uh rifles and ballistics. That's what I'm assuming. Man, that stinks. Of course it stinks, it's got hair in it. I mean, have you ever got the whiff of burnt hair before? I don't know in what situation you'd be in that you'd get a whiff of burnt hair, but it can happen. Oh, gross. Well, I suppose he's living off the land, so you know what? Uh, fair use. He can hunt. What? What? I can't kick down doors anymore. Can we not do that? Let's try it again. One last time. No, maybe not yet. Okay, pause menu. Ah, okay, map. Here we go. So we get our slot for key items and our slot for treasures. Our weapon box, nice. Get to sort of twiddle it around a small bit. And we can auto sort. And I hear a little bit of a sound effect coming from the controller as well. And of course, we can craft ammo now. Okay, okay, so that carries over from Resident Evil 2 and 3, so, yeah, that's cool. I think it makes the game a little more harder, like, you have to be resourceful with your ammo, your health, you've got to, you know, so you, not if this really applies to me, because I'm going to be needing a lot of health packs and a lot of herbs. Keeping my wits about me. I know I heard a door close or open. Don't try and screw with me. I know something's out here. Hello? Oh, oh. I don't know. Maybe the wife went out to grab some. Uh, some old hay. Can't beat it, but a cup of hay. Can't beat it. Uh, I don't know what it is, but each Resident Evil game keeps seem to improving in quality, like in terms of textures and whatnot. So I do think that with Resident Evil Three Remake, the textures were slightly better than Two and even Resident Evil Seven. And again, Resident Evil 8 again, that improved the quality a lot. At least in my opinion. It just seems to be a thing with games. Okay. Well, we've definitely established one thing. This family ain't vegan. They're about to get cancelled. Just the vegan police. I saw what you did with those animals. It was disgusting. Oh, oh God. I read you. What's your situation? The situation the hell's going on? is dead. Got anything on you? Ammo? 
play with no no, no that's just Im imbuing the body but anything dropped around here oh there's my knife get shanked wait hold on that's a sound effect the sound effects also play through the dual sense speaker on the controller close that if it was oh hey yikes it's too early in the game for this get off get shanked Uh no 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 I thought the last plagas don't spawn or we didn't see them until later on in the game. Has that changed? Must have. Right, I'm I'm okay on health. I don't need to use the health spray just yet. here a small bit oh wait I already explored here didn't I nothing has changed there's no there's no uh, ammo nothing anything like that but this thing right here that's bothering me like little small items that you just look at like, that's just pointless Whoa! God, your aim sucks. And where are you keeping those axes? Come on, kick him! Kick him! Yeah, buddy gets shanked. Okay, this wasn't open before. And I'm assuming I still can't get out this way now. Nope, that's still locked. Jesus. How long were you planning on hiding in there? Okay, you're down for the count. Yeah, this place, this house has completely changed. Ooh, the green herb. Yeah, that'll do the trick. Mm -hmm. If you know what I mean. Oh. They've got... <gasps> They've got her tied up. Those monsters. Bruce. This is Condor 1. Hunnigan here, what's your sit rep? The president's daughter, Baby Eagle. It's likely she's in this village. Our intel was correct then. Well done. There's a location on a nearby lake. She may have been taken there. Copy that. I'll see what I can find. Uh, hurry up. Something's happened to people here. My escorts are. Uh oh. Gotta go. Talk later. Oh, three against one, this is hardly fair. Hello. Right, let's see you later. Way later. I just check the sides check all the corners it's not gonna drop to anything useful no not a not a thing Ooh, blood follow the blood following the blood that always that is always the answer 
Never to question. Oh, wait, this is smashable, right? Cool. Alright, so at least these smashable barrels, or the breakable barrels, at least they're distinguishable from the non-breakables. Handy, that. Okay, so breakable, and there's gunpowder. Gunpowder, which we need to make ammo. Oh, I can't save because, you know, it's a demo. Ah, I'm in the village now. Cool. <gasps> oh no! This is the puppy or the dog that we got to save in the OG game. Are you telling me, Ca Capcom? Are you telling me that I can't save this dog? Don't, don't do this to me. I, I, I don't appreciate it. I, I don't like it. This dog, as far as I'm concerned, was canon. And you guys have the audacity. To have him already dead in front of my eyes? No, that's not okay. I love that dog. <sighs> Nothing to be done about it, I suppose. Unless this is all just done for shock value, maybe we still do get the option of saving the dog in the game. Hopefully we do. He was the goodest boy. In fact, I thought of a really good name for him. For him. I'm gonna call him Dog. Whoa, 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 whoa. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. Jesus. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. The hell are you looking at? Oh. Nope. Don't go ahead. Don't go ahead. Damn, I like this hand-to-hand -hand combat. Jeez, this is great. Oh, and pesetas will need a lot of those. Gotta keep my eye to the ground or my ear to the ground. Right, what I need is to use the herb. And just all sort these perfect. Okay, who else wants them? I'm ready for you. Okay, why the layout might have changed a good bit. The enemies are just as predictable. Yeah, I still don't speak that. And I don't know why you decided to attack the um, wooden planks there. God, this combat system, it is absolutely brutal. Love it. Wait, you still hurt? You're almost at full health. You're not that bad. Ooh, flash grenade. Oh, okay, so I was... I was kind of... Well, I was mostly on the button with the inventory system. I completely forgot about uh, grenades. So, yeah, handguns, shotguns... Shotguns or rifles, maybe ballistics and grenades. So, f flash grenades... Uh, stun grenades... Well, flash stuns are the same thing. Whatever. Grenades here, handguns here, rifles here, or automatics, or semi-automatics, and ballistic weapons. So, like, your RPGs, grenade launcher, whatever. That's cool. And I assume we'll be able to get upgrades to expand the inventory space as well. Maybe. Or just swap weapons in and out. Jesus Christ, what the hell was that? Oh, God. Oh, God. Yep. 
They've definitely ramped up the fear factor in this. Ah, yes, here's the village. Inglorious revamped RE engine goodness. Okay, there's the police yet, yeah, and Shh. and there he goes. Okay, that's it, you godless freaking heathens! I'm ready to take you on. There's no point in sneaking about. They're gonna spot me anyway, or will they? No. Not yet, anyway. Okay, well, you do you, Grandma. Oh, I can climb up here if I have Ashley with me. Well, too bad she's not with me. <gasps> you saw nothing. Here we go. Crap. In the knee. Oh, two for the price of one. You give me that. Leon, could you reload any slower? Whoa. Ooh. Oh, you give me a haymaker. Lovely. Oh, oh, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. This is bad, this is bad, this is this is terrible. Get flashed. Oh god, that was so close, that was so close. Now. Don't try it. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, yeah, get back. Okay, but seriously, I need to heal myself badly. Yes, 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 I, I know you can craft things. So I can craft this with this. Oh, whoops, didn't mean to do that. Oh god, there's a lot of you. And here comes Chainsaw Dude. Dr. Salvador, and he does not look one bit happy. Oh, I'm bored. Oh shit, oh shit, oh god, oh god, oh god, 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 god. Gotta get to safety. Okay, where's the house? Where's the house? I need hiding. It's here. It's here! Get down! Go back. Whew. You're damn serious. It's my lucky day. Okay, quick. 
Take home the barrels. Grab what's ever in here. First aid spray, thank god. Shotgun, take that. Take it. Oh, nice. And grenade, definitely need that. You gotta be kidding me. Wait, can I jump up? Well, I can, but I don't want to. I need that grenade. I need that grenade. There you go. Jesus, you're pretty sturdy. Uh oh. Oh, wait, that's a good thing. Huh? La campana. I see you defeated. That's you have a great time in church. Go on, say the line, Leon. Say it. If he doesn't say the line. Where's everyone going? <laughs> Bingo. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Resident Evil 4. <laughs> okay, that was great. If he didn't say that line, I might have to reconsider buying this game. Okay, completion time, 23 minutes, enemies killed, 19, money acquired, not a lot, 3,500 pesetas, 3,150 pesetas, sorry, I don't do maths that well, especially when I'm under the pressure of recording. Thank you for playing, and thank you Capcom for making a great demo, so available on the 24th of March this month. I will be buying it myself for my place of work if we do get it on launch, hopefully we get it on launch, please get it on launch. But what I'll try and do is see if I can order it in. Because my place of work, we don't really... Well, we do sell games, but... When we get them in, is It's hit or miss. It's like a lot of the, the few PS4 and PS5 games we did have in stock, we had to send back because it didn't sell. <laughs> Which was... Uh, kind of... Stupid. Like, we had them to sell, but not a lot of people were buying them, but... It, at the same time, it does make sense to send them back because it's mostly an electronic store we work at. Like the amount of people I've sold games to, I can literally count them on my on my hand on one hand. Literally, only about four, five people. Uh, so uh, yeah, hopefully, like I said, I can get I can get out of launch. I'll see if I can order it in somehow, some way, if they'll send it to me, but I don't think they will. Or if they send it into my place of work, not send it out to me. <laughs> but yeah, I can't wait for the full game. I mean, it shows nothing but potential, and it's obviously very promising. It's a, it was a short demo, but that's all I needed. Just a taste, just a sliver of what is to come. So, so far, 
uh, the expectations, I guess, from everybody who's played Resident Evil 4 way back when it came out in 2005. The expectations are very high. Like, I just want a good, decent horror game because Resident Evil 4, it definitely... It set new bounds, or it didn't set new bounds, it exceeded expectations, the original Resident Evil 4. Like, it changed the whole uh, RE horror genre for the better. Like, it was one of the first games to have the sort of over-the-shoulder mechanic, so that, that was great. And it definitely redefined the series as a whole. Because, in my honest opinion, it has been one of the scariest Resident Evil games I've ever played in my entire life. Anybody will tell you that. Resident Evil 4, scariest game they ever played when they were a kid. Yes, I was like 9 or 10 when I played it. <laughs> and, yeah, it scared the living shit out of me. God, it was good. Oh my god, but yeah, I'll stop gushing over it. Just want to end this video now so I can you know have it up on the YouTube's ASAP. So, guys, you know what to do if you did enjoy this video by some freaking miracle because I know this wasn't one of my best. <laughs> Be sure to give it a massive thumbs up, comment, share, and of course, like always, I'll see you in the next one. So, until next time, see ya.